Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Natalie with Natalie's Closet. And of course right now is when the sun decided to start beating down on me because um, it's been kind of overcast. But I would love to welcome everybody today. Um, I am so excited to be announcing my huge small business birthday month giveaway extravaganza. And yeah, I, I'm just, I'm really, really excited about it. Sorry, my throat got really dry. Um, and I'm hoping you guys are going to be excited about it and everything that will be part of it. It's, a, it's something I, a bit different than what I think I've ever done. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about it. Anyway, um, first I want to give a huge thank you to all of the small businesses that have graciously and generously offered to... Uh, donate something to this birthday month giveaway. Thank you so incredibly much. It, I have to say I was truly humbled at the response that I received and the excitement that each business seemed to have in taking part in it. So thank you so incredibly much and I'll go into the businesses here in a little bit. Um, and then of course I want to welcome back any new subscribers. Well, I'm sorry, I guess I should say I want to welcome all new subscribers and welcome back to everybody else. Thank you so much for all of your support. I couldn't and wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. So thank you so, so much. Um, and okay, so let's get into the meat and potatoes of all of this so that I don't waste too much of your time and I'm able to get everything in before my phone tells me I have no more space. <laughs> So um, the giveaway is going to run. It starts today, March 7th, and ends on March 21st. Uh, there are no reasons for those dates. It's just the dates that I chose to do. Uh, so it starts today, March 7th, ends uh, March 21st. I will do the drawings on the 21st, and then I will do a separate video, likely posting it on the 22nd with the winners. Um, the winners will have a week to get back to me um, with their addresses if I don't already have them and um, if I you know unfortunately if I don't hear back from you in a week then I'll have to do a redraw and um, so that's the beginning part of it you need to comment in the comment section of this video with or answering the multiple choice question that I have for you as well as one other very important question that I have for you um, so you'll have to comment in the comment section of this video and when I do the drawings I will be using the YouTube random comment picker from the comments of this video and then in order to choose which shop is going to be matched up with each winner I'm going to be using a number generator I spoke to a couple people and my mom and was trying to go through the best way to be able to do this so it was the fairest and we had several great ideas, but then it ended up being one final way that was gonna be the fairest. You guys don't need to know the details, but believe me, you guys know I'm all about trying to be fair and making, yeah. I <laughs> I think it's gonna be the most fair, because I have a bunch of the shops are here in the US and some you know, only ship to the US and then some will ship internationally. And then I think I have like a couple that are international that would ship international. Um, so, but I figured out the most fair way to be able to do this. So, yes. All right. So let's get into some of the other rules. I will have a list of the rules in the description box below. And by commenting in the comment section of this video, you are agreeing to the rules. Um, you must be a subscriber to my channel. And I must be able to verify that you're a subscriber to my channel. So if you keep your settings private so that people can't see the, uh, the channels you're subscribed to, but you want to enter, at the very least, make sure you turn it public on the 21st, the entire day, because I don't know when I'm gonna do the drawings. Turn it public on the 21st so that I can see your subscription list, and then you can turn it back to private on the 22nd. Um, but I do need to be able to verify that you are a subscriber. If, you, if I choose your name and I'm not able to tell or see who you're, you know, that you're subscribed to me, I will have to end up doing a, uh, I will end up redrawing another winner. Uh, you must be 18 or over. Um, this video or this giveaway is not sponsored by YouTube or anybody. It's sponsored by me, but the prizes are donated by the small businesses I will be listing in a little bit. Um... If you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind sharing it, 
to your friends, your family, whoever you think would have fun with this and enjoy entering the giveaway, that would be awesome. Any Facebook groups that you know will be okay with you posting it. I would never want you to get in trouble by posting it and then being like, hey, this isn't, you know. So any, any anywhere that would be okay with you posting it would be very much appreciated. I think people are going to have fun with this. I hope <laughs> that's what the whole plan was. Um, and the other reason why I was humbled at this is because I was originally wanting to start planning this like beginning or mid February so that I gave shops a time, a chance to be able to think about it, respond. Um, however, you all know things went sideways. My mom di re didn't have, you know, had a hard time with chemo, her first thing of chemo. And then she ended up having emergency surgery, was in the hospital for a week. And then, you know, things kind of went sideways and I had to, I actually just wasn't even thinking about it and so then I sent messages to my favorite shops like March 1st through the 3rd what it's only the 7th right now and there was such a, an amazing response I was I, seriously truly humbled I very much now all of these shops know that I truly support them I show their stuff I talk about them you know stuff like that so I'm I'm just very grateful that they were willing to take part because I thought that was gonna be fun okay sorry let me you guys know I go off on tangents. All right, rest of the rules. Um, I already told you, comment in this video, um, answering the multiple choice question, and the other part that's gonna be super important and will disqualify you if I pick you as a winner if you don't answer. It's void where prohibited, so if a shop goes to ship, ship an item to you and they're told that it can't be accepted into the country or whatever, they'll let me know and I'll have to redraw. I don't know that that's happened, but you never know. Things are a little bit different now. Um, and no one is, re we're not responsible for taxes and duties. So if you know your country will charge taxes and duties, now none of the prices are going to be that ridiculously expensive. So I, but then again, I don't know what taxes and duties typically are. So just keep that in mind um, when you go to enter that, you know, that you'll be responsible for that. Um, I told you I'll use the random comment picker. Um, now the businesses are going to ship directly to you. So you'll be answer you will be emailing me with your address, but I will then be forwarding it to the shop that was picked for you and they will be shipping it to you directly. If you don't want your address being forwarded to the shop, unfortunately, you wouldn't qualify to win the prize because they're the ones shipping it directly to you. So feel free to still comment, but just either say, I'm not entering. I just wanted to, you know, comment, um, or, you know, don't answer the questions, whatever the case is, but just keep that in mind. I, that is a big thing because I think that happened one other time and somebody didn't want their address forwarded it. And I, and I understand that. Um, but just keep that in mind. So I wanted to make sure to tell you guys that, um, I told you the giveaway runs seventh, starts today, ends on the 21st. I'm not going to be sharing what is going to be donated from each shop in this video. I will list the names of the shops that are taking part. Um, on the winner video, if I have pictures of what they plan to send to you, I will share it when I say your name and the shop and this is what you're winning. Um, otherwise, it may truly be a complete surprise until you actually receive it. So have fun with it. I will tell you the general idea of prizes that could possibly be won. You just won't know specifics. So it's kind of like I run my monthly surprise giveaway where I'm, I show you what the winner is going to win and then I announce the name. Um, but some may truly have a surprise and not know until they receive it um oh wow i'm already ahead of everything um oh the winner video where i announce the winners with the shops and the prizes is going to be done as a premiere for those of you that don't know what a premiere is it's a pre-recorded video where i can chat live with you as you know like when you're on a live ch a live chat or a live video you everybody's chatting live in real time i'll be able to chat with you guys in real time but it'll be a pre-recorded video so if you're able to make it that'll be fantastic and if you're not able to make it you could still watch the replay and comment and everything like a regular video um but i will be live when the video does get posted for the winners um okay so the prizes can vary you know what let me let me list Oh, I forgot to tell you. How many winners are there going to be? 
I probably should have said that in the beginning, so maybe caught your attention a little bit more. But there will be, at this point right now, there are going to be, there are 20 shops taking part, so there will be 20 winners. Um, some, I've noticed some shops are on vacation or um, haven't read their messages yet or may not have received the messages, which I had an issue with. But um, so I don't know. There could be some shops that still say, hey, I'd like to take part if it's not too late. So there could potentially be more than 20 on the day that I announce the winners. However, at this point right now, there will be 20 winners. So 20 amazing shops taking part in this giveaway. Oh, I love it. You guys are just so amazing. Um, okay, so I'm going to list the names of the shops. It's in no particular order. I just happened to write them down as I reached out to them. It just, the, it was, there's no order. So don't, you know, it's not like favorites enough. They are all my favorite shops. Okay, so the shops taking part, Jake with Dog Star Knits, who you know who created a colorway for me. Amanda with Amanda Knits. Um, Andrea with Wickedly Handmade, uh, Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios, Craig with Universe, um, Vicky with Vix Knits, Katie with Naughty Knitting Sacks, Anne with Coco's Crochet Goodies, Melissa with Knitting Notions, Shandy with Expression Fiber Arts, Misha with Cutting Time, Lori Ann and Jesse with Arkansas Yarn Company, Lisa with The Knitting Artist. Kim with Ginger Snap That, Christy with Yarn Cafe Creations, Robin with Fat Cat Beads, I'll get to that in a second, Angelica with Lila Styles. I say Lila, I hope it's not Lila, and I so apologize, Angelica, I've done this every time I mention your shop, so sorry, <laughs> um, but Angelica with Lila Styles, um, Carrie with Carrie Jane Designs, Heather with Gem State Yarns, and um, Missy with This Craft or That. So those are the 20 shops that I know of for a fact right now that are taking part. Again, I could have a couple more enter. I may not, but there will be at least 20 winners. So yay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so incredibly much to all of you. You guys are truly amazing, and I cannot wait until I'm in a position to be able to yeah, get some goodies. And again, feature your shops. And the reason, one of the reasons is, and I should have said this earlier too, most of you know that I'm very, hold on guys. Most of you know that I am hugely passionate about supporting small business. Hugely, 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 hugely passionate about supporting small business. And I, my goal was to try to get these shops names out again, hopefully get them some traffic, which I am going to list. And again, I should have mentioned this earlier. I am going to list all of the links to all of the shops in the description box below. So feel free to go check them out. If you did hear from the, hear about them originally, when I first featured them last year from me and or hearing about them now for the first time from me, if you wouldn't mind leaving them know, I don't make anything, but I would love for them to know that them taking part in this giveaway has gotten them some traffic so if you wouldn't mind letting them know you know hey I heard about you through Natalie's class now if you didn't hear about them through me don't tell them that I, I don't want you know that's false that's false advert not false ad you know what I'm saying right <laughs> um, but um, if you did hear about them originally or now through me if you wouldn't mind letting them know that would be fantastic but my main thing was to try to get them some traffic even if you don't purchase anything traffic makes a huge a hu huge thing for them um, like with Etsy, if you favorite the shop or favorite some items in the shop or just traffic to their sites helps them with the analytics and can help them with search, you know, their searches. Sorry, I'm really warm right now. Um, but getting them traffic, obviously, if there's if you guys decide to buy something, that's fantabulous also. But if you don't, that's fine. Traffic would be great. But that is why I really wanted to do something with these small businesses. And they all know that as soon as I'm able to, I do plan to shop. <laughs> and you know what? It is a cruel, cruel, cruel thing to get coupons in your email saying 20% off, or we added 100 points to your rewards, or we did this, or here's this, or whatever for your birthday, and you have no money to be able to shop. It's a cruel, cruel, cruel thing to see all this wonderful yarn. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, it's a wonderful thing, but it's can be cruel at the same time. So anyway, um, where was I going with that? Oh, that is the main reason why I ended up doing this collab with them. Um, so 
those were the shops. Thank you again so incredibly much. And thank you for the excitement and taking part in this. Now, with the links in the description box below, there are some shops I still have a coupon code with, like Jake with um, uh, Dog Star Knits, uh, Katie with Naughty Knitting Sacks. If I do have a coupon code, I was not going to ask them for a coupon code. That I, I wasn't going to do that on top of this. But I still have some with some of the shops. So if I do, it'll be listed like... Um, Dog Star Knits, use coupon code, and then the link. Um, so feel free to use the coupon code if you do decide to make a purchase with them. Um, there's absolutely no obligation to make purchases, but feel free, have fun, go check out these shops. I love them all. Now, as far as the prizes that you could potentially, or that are out there as, as prizes, did that make sense? You know what I mean. Um, it could be a four pack of stickers, the Putin stickers, let's say from Universe. Um, he's in the UK. Um, it could be a set of stitch markers. It could be um, a hank of yarn. It could be a mini skein set. It could be a project bag. It could be a notions pouch. It could be a couple of yarn condoms or yarn cozies as I call them, or I call them yarn condoms or yarn cozies as they're known as. Um, it could be, let's see, a mini skein set with a stitch marker. It could be a bag with a um, sock block and a hank of yarn. Um, it could be, one of the prizes could be a small stitch marker tree or earring tree as Robin with Fat Cat Beads names them because she designed them as earring trees. But you all know my copper um, coiled um, stitch marker tree. Yes, she donated a small one. So, yay, that's so exciting. I'm so excited about that. Well, actually, I don't know if it was a small one. I shouldn't even say that. She donated one. I have no idea what size of one it is. Um, let's see, did I miss anything? Um, those are basically the ideas of the prizes that have been donated. Again, so beyond generous I'm so grateful to you all. So I hope you guys have fun with this. I know it's a little bit different than I have done in the past, but I hope you guys have fun with it. I can't wait to start drawing the winners. Um, and But you have to answer the multiple choice question. Now, if one of the options is not an option you would pick, think outside the box and, and, and think about it and answer if you can with one of the options that I gave you. But, or you can say, well, it would be this, but truly it would be this. That's fine. You can let me know what your real choice would be. But if you don't mind thinking about, you know, but at least answer the question. The second thing that is hugely, hugely important and will disqualify you if you don't include, even if I know you like a sister and I know where you live and I have your address and whatever the case is, even if I know you and know for a fact where you live, if you do not include it in the comment section, as much as it would kill me to have to disqualify you, I will disqualify you. But you have to let me know if you live in the U.S., Canada, or anywhere else in the world. Um, the reason I say U.S. and Canada, because there, there are two shops that will ship to U.S. and Canada, but not anywhere else. So let me know if you're in the U.S., I mean, you can say the state if you want. I know the states well enough and know that it's in the U.S., but let me know if you're in the U.S., if you're in Canada, or you could just say, you can just say your country or, or whatever the case is. I'll know that it's not in the U.S. or Canada, but so that the, the multiple choice question is important and I I will likely disqualify you if you don't answer at least something, even if it's not one of my options, but you say, well, none of those, but this. Um, but hugely important is letting me know if you're in the US, Canada, or anywhere else in the world. That's majorly important. If you do not include that, I will disqualify you again. I don't care how close we are, how much I know about you. I will disqualify you. It would kill me to disqualify you, but I would disqualify you. That's how important this is. Um, again, because I have to have a system to be able to, to match up people correctly and know who it is that goes in the list to be able, it, it's it just, it's important. Okay. That's my lipstick's all off, I think. I was going to pause the video and put some more on, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, okay, so the multiple choice question. Now this, I, I you guys are probably going to think, why in the world would you have come up with this question right now? Or what, you know, it just was something my mom and I, were, we were kicking around ideas and stuff, and it just was something I was like, hmm, this would be interesting to know, and it may actually make you have to think. 
and I just went with it. Um, so which area would you least want to live in? Okay, which area would you least want to live in? One prone to hurricanes, one prone to earthquakes, one prone to tornadoes, or one prone to volcanoes? I guess you can also say one prone to tsunamis, which, you know, that, that's over, you know, across, uh, across the, um, holy crap, I can't remember what the term is. You know what I'm saying, right? <laughs> anyway, so I added that one in. So which area would you least want to live in? One prone to hurricanes, one prone to earthquakes, one prone to tornadoes, one prone to volcanoes, or one prone to tsunamis? Now, I know there are certain areas that can get multiple, like the um, West Coast can get earthquakes and hurricanes and, of course, torna tornadoes because of those. And we can get hurricanes and tornadoes depending on, and then the tornado areas could, you know, I get that. But the ones that are known for and prone to those areas, let me know. If there's a different situation that you would not want to live in more so than these, you can tell me that. That's fine. But just... Think outside the box and let me know which area you would least be willing to live in. Oh, Miley saying hi to her peeps. Anyway, that's the multiple choice question. The second part, which is equally, well, actually more important, but equally needs to be done is letting me know if you live in the U.S., Canada, or in the, any other part of the world. Um, okay, so that is my huge small business collab monthly, I'm sorry, birthday month giveaway extravaganza. I hope you guys have fun with it. I hope you enjoy it. Um, thank you again to the small businesses for your amazing generosity. You guys know I love you dearly and I hope this ha helps you guys in some way also. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm starting to really cook out here, so... Sorry, getting very parched. Um, I'm starting to cook and get all, um, um, you know, not not glossy, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so then my hair is getting all over and sticking in my lipstick. So have fun with this. I hope you enjoy it. I hope people, you know, really get interested in. It. Remember, share it with anybody you want if you think that they're going to be interested in in, in um, entering. And I will see you guys after the 21st, likely on the 22nd, with all of the winners and the shops that they've been paired up with. And if I have a picture of the winning item, I will share it with you. Otherwise, it will be a true surprise until you get it in the mail. Um, thank you all so, 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 so much for your support. You guys are amazing, and I truly appreciate every single one of you. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to make sure to do something a bit larger so I had more people that could... Um, you know, be picked as winners. And yeah, Miley, who I don't know where she is. Oh, I think I see her bat ears, you know, the tips of her bat ears over in the corner in the dirt. But Miley says, hi and bye to her peeps. My mom did say to say hello to everybody. Thank you for the continued prayers for her as well as us, but uh, for sure for her. <laughs> um, we very much appreciate it. You all are always in our thoughts and prayers. Remember, for every season, there's a reason to crochet. Love, hugs, and prayers to everybody. Extra prayers for those who need it. If you need extra prayers but don't want to mention it publicly, email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com. And I'm um, sorry, there's a garbage truck coming. But uh, email me at natalies.closet at yahoo.com with your prayer request. And um, we will definitely add you to our private prayer list. If you don't mind me sharing it anonymously, publicly, let me know that. Otherwise, we'll keep it private. Um, if you want to include your birthday month, that's fine. Who knows? You may get a birthday card when I'm able to catch up on them because I'm late on March already. Um, but you will for sure get a Christmas card this coming year. You all know I am very much into Christmas cards. I sent out, what, like 250 this past year. Um, but, yeah, so have a wonderful day. I'm hoping that that you guys haven't been hearing all this breeziness out here but if you have I apologize sincerely um, but have a wonderful day and a wonderful two weeks I will be oh yeah I will be posting a large yarn haul I did not spend the money my mom gave me my birthday or gave me some birthday money and I went to support my local yarn shop who that's creativity that's like three miles from me um, Alicia is retiring. I'm hoping that the contract they have out there gets signed and approved 
so that the shop can stay around. But I will miss Alicia. I've been shopping with her for years, but I wanted to, she's, she's closing the doors March 31st. So wanted to make sure to go in there to s support her a little bit. So thank you to my mom for my birthday money in advance um, so that I could do that. But I will be posting a video showing you everything I got there. Um, so, so there should be a couple videos between now and the 22nd when I post the winter video, but um, have fun. Thank you again so much for your support. And um, I thought she came around. Oh, there she is. She says, bye my peeps, I'm hot. Uh oh, I don't think I have it. I think she's out of water. I gotta give her some. Okay, anyway, you all know I do a 12 minute goodbye, 15 minute goodbye, whatever it ends up being. But have a wonderful day again. Thank you so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And um, love, I love you guys all dearly. Um, oh yeah, I forgot, don't, and this is at the end. I always forget to mention it. And those of you that are still here already know about my live. My lives are on Tuesday nights, 9.30 p.m. Eastern. I know I'll see you guys there, but who knows? Maybe we have some new people that watched all the way until the end and are surprised with my, with my live news. So, um, yeah. Sorry. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you guys. Thanks again for everything. Bye.